I'm not really sure if these videos are helpful, but today is June 20th and I'm gonna show you again what happened today. It's literally 11 a.m. so all the trades are complete, the main stock mines trades are complete, and we had some more crazy returns. So um, hopefully this gives you a good idea as to what stock mines uh, provides and what kind of trade stock mines provides. Um, but yeah, let me show you. Okay, so today was super simple. There was two tickers that came up, ZAPP, MGOL. ZAPP was predicted to move down at the open. So you would have used this trade here and it's entry is 183, stop loss 174. So if we're looking at what ZAPP ended up doing, 174 is the stop loss and the entry is 183. So let's change that color, make it a little nicer. Okay, so if that's your stop loss, that's your entry, it's predicted to move down to 174 and it hit 171. So it came down right within range, right as predicted, off by a few cents. and it ended up coming down to within that range and then coming back up to the entry price multiple times. So you can see it ended up hitting the entry and would have stopped out um, once, twice, potentially um, even here three times you could have stopped out. Um, but honestly, that's completely fine. Sometimes the stock mines ai will provide a stop loss that is a little bit too tight but it's got to improve somehow it's learning um so it ended up having multiple attempts but then it ended up hitting profit all the profits 298 was the final profit which was right here so it still had more that it could have moved or that it did move and you could have made even more profits but um, this is just what it ended up giving you as a prediction. So it moved, it was predicted to move down, it moved down and you profited 34% on the trade total. So if you risked $50, so let's say your stop loss hit and you risked $50, then you would have ended up making $200. And if you look at the trades tab, so you would have had 34% if this is when you entered. If you just entered here and you didn't make any other of the trades, you didn't get stopped out, um, or you didn't have a lower stop loss, you didn't lower it yourself because it is relatively tight. Um, but if you did take all of them, then the trades page will show you what your return actually was. So right here, ZAPP, the same numbers, um, and it was a 19% return because it took multiple attempts. So regardless, you would have made 20% on the trade, which is fantastic, amazing. Um, and then for the other trade or the other ticker that came up, we had MGOL, which was a 71% probability, also a high probability, um, and it was predicted to move up at the open. So if we look at MGOL, the entry was at the open price, stop was 125. So this was your stop loss. So if you entered right at the open, just as it is predicted to do, so it's predicted to move up at the open, then it would have ended up hitting 145 right here. And then it would have ended up hitting 156 after it halted, um, and then it didn't quite hit the 178. It ended up coming up to 173. Um, so in that case, you would have hit profit one, profit two, and then if you raised your stop loss up to 
break even. You didn't even put your stop loss at the previous profit or use a trailing stop, then you would have made that final profit that you took was 156. It was a 13% gain on the trade, but the overall return was four and a half percent because you stopped out at break even on half your shares, which is obviously not ideal, which is why you can profit better than the profits that Stock Lines is giving. Um, this is like almost a worst case scenario. So the other trade though, um, if you decided, or if it moved up and, or I don't know, you were using method two or you were trading at the other method, you were trading both, then the entry was 128 predicted to come down to 122. This one didn't have much data, so the prediction charts are not really that great, but it ended up coming down to the 128 on the dot. This one is showing that it came down to 129, but it actually came down to 128. Um, and that would have hit an entry. And then the stock was at 122, so that would have been down here. And it would have hit profit. If it hit 173, it would have hit profit one, two, and three on that move. So if you took either trade, if you managed to get an entry here, then um, you would have had a 14% return. And that's if you hit profit one, two, and three, and then stopped at break even on the remaining shares. So pretty pretty simple day, only two tickers. Both of them were profitable. ZAPP was the highest rated. It had high ratings, lots of data, high probability, um, predicted to move down. It had a higher probability of moving down. It ended up moving down. You would have had your entry and your final profit, um, 298 for an 80% gain. Um, if I have that right. What was the last profit, 298? Okay, so a 63% gain. So, <laughs> um, crazy, honestly, that this three, so we had KAVL on Friday, we had um, some more crazy trades on Monday, and then uh, Tuesday we had a few losers, but we also had some really good trades. And then today, again, we had very straightforward, easy, simple, profitable trades. And again, all the predictions are given before the market even opens. So you can even see in the Discord that it is June 20th. I'm saying at 9.13, ZAPP leaning towards a move down at the open. MGOL didn't have enough data at that point, but it ended up getting more data and I'm calling it out as it happens. So the trades are given all the numbers before the market even opens, and you would have made some crazy returns today um, as well. So yeah, hopefully this gives you a better idea as to what StockMinds provides. Gives you little warnings if the trade is riskier than usual because this one has minimal data, so the prediction isn't as accurate even though it ended up following the prediction almost perfectly for that first little move there. Um, it is, uh, there's lots of features that StockMinds provides you. So hopefully these are helpful and uh, thank you for watching.